This is Rod Goosen and Spooman for Risk on February the 16th, 2010. Our initial setup for a long trade this morning took place right in here at 8.43. And as we speak, we are now getting a short signal. <laughs> They're at 14.40. My goodness, that was quite a run and quite unexpected to say the least. Now when we look at a VIX chart, one minute VIX chart, we have the one minute SPOOS, VIX, DPO. This becomes real useful to us in understanding why the market did not short today as we expected it. We thought there was a high probability short going into the open this morning. Looking for that short uh, didn't mean that we couldn't take a long trade. It just was a larger probability that we should see some short. But in order for that to materialize, certain things have to take place which did not take place. Now, watch the VIX. VIX is moving down, SPOOs are moving up. Inverse relationship is typical for uh, the market to move in this direction. We start hitting projections in here and we're at a new high for the day. VIX pulls back a bit, but does not establish a trend. That's important. There's no trend established here. Instead, the VIX turns again, and we come down to this point here, and we're at a new high on the spoots. But we are not hitting a projection. Now, that's important. There's no projected number that has been reached here, such as was reached here. So for our traders, those who use the system, they know that when there's no projection, the probability is that it may continue to go down. It does it all, but it also means that there's perhaps something wrong here because there's a major divergence. Look at the DPO here. New low on the VIX, new high on the SPOOs, DPO is divergent. So even though it hadn't reached a projected value, there was good reason to exit any kind of a long trade in here because of that divergence. Now, shorting the market didn't get you very far because at this point, keeping in mind, right now it's at 89. Over here, we're at 89.25. Now, we're at a higher high on the spoos, a higher low on the VIX an unusual type 3 divergent, short the market again. That doesn't pan out. Spoos do come down, but then over here we're at another new high, 89.50. And again a type 3 divergent pattern, short the market. But now this is where it gets real interesting. Right in here around Right after 3.30, uh, pardon me, 13, <laughs> 3.30, I have a cold. After uh, 13.30 into 13.40 and so on, notice what we start picking up on the premium. Right, reverting over to our premium chart, we have the uh, ES up here. We have the uh, ESINX here using the group reversal system. Now, of significance is whenever we get gold-colored bars, which we have right here. That means that the underlying tick bar intervals, which we have six different intervals, are all positive. And whenever we see that, we'll give you a blue arrow. Now, we had so many of them this, uh, during the latter part of the afternoon, we had to reset the chart. But here's where it starts, and you don't see them right here, but you will see them over here. Because, again, we had to reset the chart. But here's the gold bars. That means that there's real strength to the premium. Real strength to the premium. Even though the spoos dropped somewhat, we thought it was divergent, we figured this was going to be the short. It would have to be a very late, very late short. But instead, the premium starts taking off. You have it here. And then you have it here, 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 you see the gold bars, here, and here, 
and here, and here. We finally got around to resetting it, and that's why you didn't see them anymore. But right here, again, gold bars. And every time thereafter we have a gold bar, we get an arrow. So to uh, expand this chart so that you see it more completely, here's what we're seeing. We see very strong indications that the premium is going up. All of these blue arrows indicate strength in the premium. So in spite of what we thought might have happened, the premium said no. There's strength here. Market is not going down. It is going up. And up it went. Every time we track a gold bar, we find that we have approximately a four tick positive move in the spoos. Four tick positive move. And that's from the first time it occurs. All right. And sure enough, we had it in here, 88.75, 89.75. We have it again in here, 89.50, 90.50. Again, it's, it's, it's all happening basically in the same price range. But then again in here, 90.75, up to 91.75. It's still continuing here, 92.50, continues to rally up, and so on. So the market, whoops, market finally did begin to pull back late, late in the afternoon here, as you can see. We only make room for 50 of these arrows. <laughs> and boy, did we have plenty of them today. So it is no wonder. You just had to follow the chart. Even though there was a bias, we thought it was short, read the charts, read the premium, read the VIX, and you would have, you would have been safe in the way in which you traded today, not banking upon expectations which may not be fulfilled. They will only be fulfilled. That bias that we expected in terms of a short would have only been fulfilled had there been an indication of an existing trend up on the VIX, and that never happened. It never happened. Here's the VIX again. Here we're starting to have some sort of a trend, but it never materializes. Down it goes, trying to reestablish the trend. It doesn't make it. And then we start all over, way over here. But we still did, did not go below 22.13. Well, anyway, we only hit 22.15. <laughs> we're still going up as far as the VIX is concerned. So what do we learn? Well, we simply learn that uh, you've got to read the charts. Don't bank on a situation occurring when the conditions are not right for it to take place. Now, you had reason to believe that it would start here. You had reason to believe it would start here. And you had reason to believe it would start here. That, of course, is extremely late, extremely late to expect a major short to take place. It can happen. It has happened. But it is extremely late. The latest you would normally expect the short to emerge would be in a yellow day pattern taking place at around 1230 central time. Into 130, very unlikely. Can happen, but the probability then substantially diminishes. So as it turns out, market rallies instead, and you had enough tools to know how to respond if you were following the VIX and the premium. So keep those thoughts in mind for tomorrow. We'll have to see what it brings. But that's uh, the subject for today, and this is Rod Kusin and Spoonman for Risk.